Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I'm back with another video, you guys. So, I am doing the reading for my beautiful Taurus. Taurus gang, my bull gangs. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Taurus? How you guys feeling? What's up, Taurus? Bull gang, so someone could be traveling towards you, but you guys got your guards up. <laughs> You're protecting yourself, Taurus, to someone from your past. Let's see, bull gangs. My bull gangs. So let's see. Let's get the recent past energy, the present energy, the future energy, your challenge, and your potential outcome between you and another person here, Taurus. All right, so Taurus, so what what happened in the recent past for you, Taurus, between you and someone else? What happened, Taurus? Could have been dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Oh, wow. This is coming out as well. So I'm going to take this too. All right. And what's what happened? What's going on in the uh, future energy, Taurus, between you and someone else? So this one wanted to come out also. What's the challenge, Taurus, between you and someone else? Wow, these cards are just fl flying out. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Wow, 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 wow. Into the stante. <laughs> All right, and the... All right, the... Potential outcome between you and another person, Taurus. Oh, boy. So, Taurus, the, you... This kind of reminds me of Pisces reading. So I don't know if you have Pisces in your chart or your person has this. We got the Ace of Wands. So someone could definitely be wanting a new beginning with you. But we got the, excuse me, we got the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So I don't know if like someone's not walking away from you or you're not walking away from someone. Or someone could be wanting you to come back. But I feel like you're going to be manifesting what it is that you want. You know, with the Magician card, Gemini, um... Gemini Virgo energy so beautiful um, but we got everything is fine in a reverse this actually was um, this came out in Pisces so I feel like you have Pisces in your chart are you dealing with the Pisces or this person has it in our chart but anyway everything is fine in a reverse in the recent past um, we got the seven of cups and the knight of pentacles for your present energy we got the Six of Pentacles and the Strength card. So Taurus, um, Leo, or Virgo energy. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo or another Taurus like yourself could be. Um, we got the Hermit in the reverse as a challenge. Virgo energy and the Ten of Swords. Wow. So some of you guys feel betrayed, Taurus. Oh, my God. Taurus. Oh, my God. So, Taurus, in a recent past, I don't know if this was you or someone else but somebody could have been pretending like everything was fine but i feel like you guys stopped doing that in the recent past like you acknowledged you know your feelings and the things that occurred in a situation and i feel like you know you let it end but it's crazy because it's like you almost get betrayed again like somebody probably tries to do the unthinkable like they try to hurt you or something i feel like somebody may want to hurt you Taurus. i know that sounds crazy right but that's what i'm getting um but we got the knight of pentacles or this person is trying to hurt themselves or something um but yeah the knight of pentacles and the seven of cups in the reverse i feel like you're coming out of confusion maybe about maybe someone that you're dealing with someone that could be younger or immature or someone that was 
coming towards you with a slow moving offer I don't, I don't feel like you're confused about this person anymore or whoever you're dealing with is no longer confused about you but it's like they don't really have much to offer you know now if this is someone new coming towards you you know again this may be someone that you just met and y'all could just be having a a real good friendship maybe they want to take you out or something like that for a, a dinner or for a drink or something like that that could be coming towards you as well um, but we got the Six of Pentacles and the Strength card. So I feel like things are going to balance out. I feel like things are going to be fair. And I feel like you are going to have the courage to, you know, um, balance out your life. To make things fair and stable and solid. You know, I, I think you're going to be gaining that balance back in your life. And you have the strength to do it. So that's beautiful. Or this could be a person. They're going to be having the courage to make things right with you. I'm not necessarily saying you're going to be with them. But I feel like they're going to, they may want to say something to you to make things fair. Something like that. But I do feel like, I don't know if this is you, Taurus, or someone else could be depressed. Um, they could be really isolated. Um, or this person could be hiding. They may be coming out of hiding or they need to come out of hiding or something like that. But with the Ten of Swords, again, there's a betrayal and there's an ending. So I do want to see what that's about, Taurus. So, All right, I wasn't expecting this, Taurus. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so let's see here, Taurus. What's up? All right, why do we got the everything is fine in the reverse? Why do we have everything is fine in the reverse? Something about a marriage or a commitment was involved or a family or a home situation, I heard. Someone may want to apologize for something. All right, let's see. Why do we have everything is fine? Why do we have everything is fine? Yeah, because you guys could have maybe wanted to reconcile with the person but you knew that probably wasn't the best idea or somebody wanted to come towards you but you know deep down you knew it was over or you know this person could add another person and you're like tourists they don't do that they don't do competition right so you're like if you were me you and me if you want to be with that other person go ahead you know take that person let them have you like we don't compete right tourists <laughs> So yeah, you, you could have been pretending like you didn't see something or didn't recognize something, but I feel like, you know, you couldn't do that anymore, right, in the recent past. Either you or someone else. Now, with the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, why is that here for the present energy, please? Yeah, something about the past, and it's like something still not closing out between you and maybe someone from your past. I don't think that you're really nostalgic about the past, Taurus. I feel like this is someone else's energy, honestly. Or this could be you, Taurus. You could still reminisce about someone. I mean, you have feelings too. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, something about the past, though. Somebody, I feel like you're letting go of the past or there's a need to let go of the past or someone needs to let this go. But it's like they're refusing to do this. They don't, they don't want something to close out between you and them. They still want to come back with an offer. But it's like it's over bro or sis <laughs> um why is this strength card here in the six of pentacles here yeah it's the truth the truth is coming out about a situation why is this ace of swords here i'm nosy what's this truth about what's this truth about it's too many what's this truth about yeah you got your guards up yep you're protecting yourself towards you're going to have the courage and the strength. You feel wounded, though, probably. You feel hurt. I hear. I hear. You, maybe you're tired, too, for some of you guys. Maybe you need to get some sleep, some rest. Uh, why is this hermit card in the reverse? Maybe you could be overworking yourself. But you feel like you went through a battle for some of you guys. You feel like you fought a battle. Or it was a battle dealing with this person. Um, the, the five of pentacles. This person is feeling left out in the cold. And they feel depressed, too. So keep that in mind. Um... Yeah, the Ten of Cups, something is not happy, and that's why it's ending. Or you feel betrayed by uh, somebody that you was in a relationship with. So that was a pretty easy read, but Taurus, mm, I was wanting better energy for you guys. Yeah, you guys can have a soulmate uh, a relationship, like a new relationship, but it's not. I don't get that it's with someone from your past. We got the Page of Cups. Yeah, you're going to be rejecting someone. Like, you probably, like, hear someone, what they had to say, like, hear their offer. But I don't think you're going to be accepting it. Because you want love. You want um, 
divine orchestrated love soulmate twin flame this is probably a karmic i heard um but yeah because whoever you're dealing with they don't bring anything but drama competition and confusion and chaos and yeah you're you're moving forward Taurus. so yeah i like to see i feel like this person still does not want to close out something um they want to give you an offer some of you guys may take them back i don't know it's only going to lead to heartbreak i'm just saying <laughs> and this person is depressed so but yeah, they may want to speak some sort of truth to you, or you may have a truth to say to them, Taurus. So we could look in the extended to see what that's going to be about. Um, yeah. We can see how this person feels about you, how they view you, what action steps they plan on taking towards you, even right now. Um, what are their intentions? We could also see um, what you could expect in your love life in the next three to six months if you are single, Taurus. Yeah, date. You're going to be dating tours. That's what I heard. We can see like your new person, like how they're going to feel about you, how they're going to view you. Yeah. You guys got a good mindset tours. Keep that positive attitude. Keep that positive mindset going. Yeah. You could also be traveling. You're moving on, progressing, arriving, You're probably going out the country, traveling overseas or going to another state. Yeah, you're going to be having and gaining some suitors. People going to like you. You're healing. Breaking free from a toxic person. Yes, Taurus. Yes. <laughs> yes, the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listen to ego. This person is a runner. They're codependent. Um, Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Beautiful, Taurus. This is what you're going towards. Or this is what you should strive to do. The boat, we got receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure, issues. Yeah, this person um does not want to give you any closure here because we got the world in the reverse. They want to keep, they, they haven't ended this cycle and it's, that's toxic to do, the right? That's not, you should close out a, a situation if it's over, it's over, right? I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Yeah, you guys go out and date or if online date, do that. <laughs> um, Swipe. <laughs> Uh, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, you guys are healing. So I love you, Taurus. If you're interested in the extended, go ahead and click the link in the description box and follow the process. I love you guys. Um, If you guys want a personal or private reading, that information is below. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you, Taurus. Bye.